Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be looking at a room called DRQA. So let's begin. This is a buffer overflow challenge. So first of all, we'll be learning how you can exploit a buffer overflow and then we'll be solving this challenge. So what is a program? A program is a set of instructions that you give to the computer to execute line by line. So how does your computer know that which line it has to execute? For that purpose, there is a register called the RIP register or the EIP register. The RIP and the EIP register or the EIP register stores in itself the address of the line that it has to execute next. So what will happen is because the RIP register first has the value of 0x12, it goes to that memory address, it sees the line and then it executes it. Then it increments by 1 or depending upon the logic, it will increment by x and then it will check what address it has. So supposedly, for example, it has a 0x13 address. So it will go to that address line and then it will execute it. So this is the overview of how um, things are supposed to happen once the binary is loaded into the memory. So in this question, we have two functions. The first is the main function that will execute in itself as soon as we run the binary. But what we want to have is we want to change the flow of the binary in a way that it does not stop at main but also ex ends up executing the vulnerable part of the uh, machine or vulnerable part of the code. So for that we have a vulnerability in there. So what it does is we know the, how the EIP register works and what in the what the binary has is the binary has a variable. The variable accepts suppose 13 characters as of now. Let us say it accepts 13 characters. So what will happen is it will take the 13 characters and it will store in itself. Then what will happen is the EIP register will check its value which is 0x12 and then it will go, go to 0x12 to execute that part. But this is where the vulnerability is. There is no way the binary checks how many characters the user has entered. And this is where the vulnerability is. Supposedly, I add 14 characters to it. So instead of get uh, instead of passing it 13 characters, I pass it 14 characters. So what will happen is it will overflow this boundary and then it will overflow this boundary and then go to or override the contents of the EIP register. And then what the EIP register will do is because it has no way to check whether its contents have been overwritten, it will go to the memory location 0x1a and end up executing it. And this is exactly what we have to do. So what we will do is, first of all, we will type in ls, this is the binary, let's just strings binary less. Let's check its contents first. You will see that it has congratulations, you have entered the secret function, which is bin bash. Welcome dear QA, I am sysadmin, I am in developing what's your name and hello. So it will accept our name, What this is what I am guessing, and then it will display our name to us. After storing it in a value, it will display our name to us. So let's just say binary. What's your name? Let's just say Rahul. And as you can see, it displayed as Rahul. But what happens if I pass in more characters than it was expecting from me? As you can see, it says segmentation fault. Why? Because I overwrote the EIP or the RIP register and it went to this memory location. And then it saw that I that memory location doesn't exist. And then it threw me a segmentation fault. So let's just type use by uh, GDP to find the memory location of the vulnerable function. So let's just say set disassembly flavor. This is what I like to do. You by default it is AT and T, but I like to have it in Intel. So info functions. <coughs> As you can see, this is the main function. But why what, what I need to have is I need to go to this memory location and this is what we will be doing. So let's just remember what the memory function is. It is 400686. So for the sake of us, sake of it, let's just type in python taxi print a. First of all, we will need to find the sweet position where it gets overflowed because then only we will be able to override this part. Let's just try to, there are a lot of methods that, you know, hackers try to do, but for this section, what we will be doing is we will be trying to brute force it. There are tools as well, but let's try to brute force it. This is the simple and easy way. So as you can see till 39, it works fine. 
what happens the moment I type in 40? It says segmentation fault. So our sweet spot is 40. And after this, what we will be doing is we will be writing this memory location so that it ends up executing it. So what you can try to do is what you might think is why not just write 4006 and 86. And why did I do this? Because this is that memory location, which is 400686. And let's just execute it. As you can see, nothing happens. First of all, because this is not how we mention the memory location. We have to write 0x. And this is our memory location. But again, it doesn't do anything. Why is that? This is because of the little Indian format that our computer are work to work on. Because what happens is, this is the little Indian format. So what happens if I write 0x40, 0x6 and 0x86? The way it will be represented in the memory is 86, 06 and 40. And we do not want this because our memory location is this. So in order to have this as the final product, what we will have to do is we will have to supply it in the opposite order, which means I will have to type in 86 first, then 06 and then 40, which means what it will try to do is then it will take the 40 first. It will prepend it here, then it will take the 06 and then it will take the 86. So let's just try to do this. First of all, let's just type in 86, 06 is supposed to remain the same and let's just type in 40. As you can see, again, nothing happened. Why is that? Let's just try to put it to pattern dot txt and let's execute it. L run pattern dot txt because we are in the same directory. As you can see, what I'm doing is I'm telling GDB to run and instead of me trying to manually enter the payload, I am telling it to take it from the text file. What happened right here? As you can see, this is the memory location that it was supposed to go to 0, 40, 0, 06, 86. So we are right here. As you can see, we are right here. But what has happened is there are two bytes in the memory that it is trying to go. And as you can see, this is all composed of zeros in the beginning. But here it has all of these parts. So we do not want this. So what we can do is we can append extra zeros towards the end. So let's just say 0x00, 0x00. And let's just try to run it. And as you can see, we have got to that sweet spot, which is the vulnerable function. Congratulations, you have entered the secret function and process is executing the new program bin bash. And if I type in who am I? Okay, I don't think this is this will end up executing here. So let's just quit from here and let's cat out the pattern to the binary. And as you can see, congratulations, you have entered the secret functions. So this is how you will execute the payload. So now what we will be doing is let's just say we have completed this and let's just say find out what is the binary architecture. So file binary it is a 64 bit. So x64 and what is the flag? So what you might do is you can just type in pattern dot txt and it gives us a hint that the service port is running on 5700. So first of all, let's just try to run the 57 port 57 10 point. It's again, it says what is your name? Let's just type in a and it works as fine. So let's just type in cat pattern dot text. As you can see, we are in the fun in the binary and we have successfully bypassed it, but it says inappropriate IOCL for device. And if I type in who am I, it won't work because somehow while, you know, transmitting it, there might be some problems. So what we can try to do is to bypass this. Let's just type in Python taxi the overall flow is going to be exploit cat. This is what I asked one of our guys in the discord because he was kind enough to help me through this because I was getting stuck here. And what he told me that what you can do is you can write the exploit right here and then cat it and then send it to the binary. In this way, it might not get broken while sending it. So let's just type in Python taxi print a 40 0x 
zero x eight six x zero six forty and we have what we have to do is we have to cat it n c ten point ten point two one eight point one six six and send it to the port number fifty seven hundred who am okay i think i might have done something wrong and i have typed uh, l extra as you can see who am i it says ctf so if i type in ls cat flag dot text so we are given the flag so thank you guys this is it for the video